largest lender, State Bank of India, reporting a second consecutive quarterly loss, and that's mainly due to the surge in provisions. Now, the bank's fresh slippages rose 30% sequentially, but the stock gained nearly 4% because the bank's managing director says all bad assets have been recognized. Ritu Singh joins us now with the key takeaways. Ritu, you know, we've heard in the past uh, bank heads saying that the worst is behind us, SBI saying the worst is behind us, and the market seemed to buy that. The stock up 4% today. What are the highlights? A fairly disappointing quarter from State Bank of India, with the bank reporting losses of 7,718 crore rupees, largely on the back of a sharp spike in bad loans for SBI. Slippages for the quarter stood at around 33,000 crore rupees. Of this, we understand slippages from standard, restructured, and 525 accounts stood at 6,734 crore rupees. From the watch list, 5,040 crores. From SDR, 4,520 uh, 4, crores. From S4A, 1142 crore rupees and from corporates another 11,601 crore rupees. We do understand from sources that one of the largest accounts that uh, is responsible for these fairly high corporate slippages is Aircel where the bank has an exposure of 6,600 crore rupees and it has made a 50% provision on this account. So the gross NPA ratio overall came in at 10.9%, the net NPA ratio at 5.73% and provisions have uh, jumped almost 35% sequentially. Uh, the bank in fact gave some guidance guidance on how it uh, plans to improve its performance over the next two years. It sees credit growth coming in at 12% by FI20, NIMS at 3%, credit cost contained under 1.1%, gross NPA's uh, ratio would be brought down to 6% and net NPA ratio at around 2.3%. That is the guidance that has been given. In the words of the chairman of the bank, FI19 will be a year of hope and FI20 a year of happiness. Last year and last quarter was uh, difficult for the banking industry and the State Bank of India. Yeah. But uh, the peak as far as NPA is concerned, so that has been achieved. And hereafter, the NPAs will go down, both in terms of fresh slippages, mm. and we are expecting recoveries uh, through NCLT process and uh, other uh, outside NCLT process also. So this year, uh, definitely there will be decline as far as the absolute number of NPS is concerned mm. and as far as the percentage is concerned.